Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to be sharing nine ways your clothes are looking cheap. And don't worry, I've fallen into this trap myself. I'll be pulling some inspiration and examples from my very own wardrobe. No matter the price of these clothing pieces, some are expensive, some are more affordable, everything in between, but these are nine characteristics that you can look for to make sure your clothes aren't looking cheap. Again, no matter the price. But first, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do that. I make so many videos on fashion tips and tricks and clothes to never wear or how to wear them better. So if that's your cup of tea, then consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I actually never mention the notification bell. So if you haven't done that, you totally should. Okay, so the very first characteristic, we're just starting out basic, like very basic, building the foundation for everything else and it's just bad materials. And I know that's like super subjective. I'm not even saying you have to go out and buy the most expensive things because it's like the best materials. No, like something can be super affordable, but just look and feel really good. I mean, that's what I do all the time. But what I will say is when a blouse for example, looks see-through when it's not supposed to be see-through is one of the biggest characteristics of a shirt or blouse looking cheap. So I have a couple examples in my closet. Both were around the same price. I think around like 60 bucks for these blouses. And you can literally see right through them and it doesn't look very good. It, it just looks cheap, even though these tops were not cheap at all. So that does lead me to a particular material that no matter what, will always look more expensive than it might've been. And that is silk. And don't get me wrong, silk can be darn expensive. It can be very, very expensive. It is a very luxurious material. It's the queen of fibers. But I have teamed up with Lily Silk for this video. I have now been working with them and recommending them to you guys for a few years now. And I absolutely love them. I honestly, truly recommend them to you because they have the best quality silk paired with the best pricing. And that's really hard to find. They have the highest quality, the highest grade silk on the market. It's grade 6A mulberry silk where the fibers are actually very, very long, making the silk feel very soft and silky. And then the pricing, the pricing is just so good. And I'm gonna go through some of my favorite pieces from them. I've just been collecting items at this point for quite a while, but I do have a code. I'll have everything linked down below. My code is SHAY12. I don't make money from this code, by the way, but you will save 12% on their entire website. Now, keep in mind that since this video is going live, going into the holiday season, it'll be close to Black Friday week, there will be additional sales on their website, and I'll name some of them as I go along, but you will be able to save even more money on top of the 12%. So I'm first gonna start off with some of my favorite blouses because that's really where I got hooked on Lily Silk. This is my newest blouse from them. It's just their best, it's their best selling blouse, I think. It's very basic. I have it in white, I have it in navy, and then this is my newest color, which is like a really beautiful gold color. I can tuck it in. I love how the buttons are concealed. I'm gonna get to buttons a little bit later in the video and how that can really actually, if they're done poorly, make something look very cheap. I'll explain later. But this is just such a good piece. And I do wanna mention that for the, the coming weeks for Lily Silk, as far as clothing, the men's and women's clothing, if you buy two pieces, you will get 15% off. If you buy three pieces, you can get 25% off. And then here is a pair of PJs that I've been loving. This is another one of their best sellers. They have a lot of color options. As with everything, I went with navy. I was kind of just sucked in, I think, by the model. It just looked so good on her. But as far as the sale for sleepwear, it will be up to 30% off. So check that out as well. Oh, and then silk pillowcases or silk bed sheets. I love both, but I at least recommend you try a silk pillowcase. So they're really good for a couple reasons. Number one, they are hypoallergenic. So they're really good for people with allergies. They're also antibacterial, which is good for anybody with acne. They're also, they, they help prevent wrinkles because they don't it doesn't smush your face. It's really smooth on your face. So as far as the sale, you can get one silk pillowcase and get a second one 40% off. Oh, and then another silk clothing piece I've been loving is this silk dress, which I love the fact that it's more versatile than you probably expect. I can wear it in the summer. I mean, it's, it's a summer dress, but I could also wear it in the winter months by just simply throwing over a sweater like on top to like warm it up but then it just turns it into kind of like a skirt. It just, it again, makes you be able to wear it all year round. Okay, so the next characteristic of your clothes, possibly looking cheap without you realizing it, 
are ribbed sweaters. Now this is something that you guys actually called me out on. I used to have so many more ribbed sweaters in my wardrobe. I would I would wear them and, and people would comment saying your sweater looks cheap. The reason why was it just being ribbed. So I have since kind of purged my closet. I've donated a lot of things, um, but I have found one item here in my closet that is in fact ribbed. I've honestly never worn it. Um, I kind of forgot that it existed, but I pulled it out. It's ribbed. The price was $8.99, okay? There must just be something to ribbed sweaters and maybe in the manufacturing process, maybe they are just in fact very cheap to produce. But with that said, I think it's starting to become kind of a cheap look. So just keep that little sweater tip in the back of your mind next time you're buying a sweater. Like for instance, this one, very affordable. It's not ribbed looks more expensive than it actually was. This is a cashmere sweater, which just automatically looks kind of expensive, but it's also from Lily Silk. So their prices are again, very good and very high quality. This is grade A cashmere fabric. Um, it's, it's very, very warm. It's two to three times warmer than wool actually, but it just feels amazing on the skin. I've had this one for years now and it's held up beautifully. So the next characteristic that you need to keep an eye out, especially when you're buying something or in your closet, maybe you already have it, like myself, is embroidery, beading, or sequins. Because not only does this make an item automatically more expensive because there's more detail involved in producing it, but they start to fall off. There's snagging, there's just, it just, it's, it's potentially bad. And lo and behold, I found a sequin shirt that I've had for a few years. I really like it. I actually get a lot of compliments on it when I wear it, but I started to examine it and yes, sequins have fallen off. It now looks very cheap. And that's the problem with these things. They are more expensive than average, yet they run the risk of just looking more cheap than anything else. Not to mention one more thing, I'm not done. Let's be honest, embroidery, beading, sequins, it could look tacky. I had to say it. <laughs> Number four involves shoes, which I have definitely talked about how worn out shoes can make your whole outfit look bad and in this case, look cheap. And the main areas that I see this are actually heels, more specifically stiletto heels. And I have a darn good example of this one because here we have my Christian Louboutin black heels, okay? I've had these for a long time, but how many times have I worn them? Three times, okay? Three times. The front part of them, completely worn out. Why? I don't know. I guess I scuff them ever so slightly on the pavement. I don't understand, but they look terrible. Not to mention the backs of the heels are all scuffed up. It's just the price of these were $650, okay? Worth it? No. On the flip side, we have these heels under $100. I've worn them countless times. How many times? I have no idea. Heck of a lot more than three though. The front has held up beautifully. The back stiletto part completely intact and not scuffed. Everything just looks better. These look more expensive than these. And I know, I know everyone's drawn to the red bottoms. I know that red bottoms automatically make a shoe look more expensive, but I don't care what anyone says. When the front is scuffed, basically the whole shoe looks like crap. It looks cheap to me. Cartoon prints on clothes, like shirts or sweatshirts. You'll never convince me that Minnie Mouse Tweety Bird, Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, wow, I am dating myself. What are the cartoons of today? I mean, I know Hello Kitty, people are really into Hello Kitty. Uh, sorry, if I've, if that stuff I feel like is kind of expensive. They don't, they don't look, they don't look expensive to me. They look, they look cheap. Material that is too stretchy can also look very cheap. Now hear me out because I know there's a lot of you out there that love stretchy material, including myself. There's a lot of benefits to it, whether it be jeans or a top or whatever, it can be very comfortable. It can be very forgiving. Maybe if you gain weight or you lose weight, it can be more conforming to your body than regular material. But with that said, if it's just too darn stretchy, it has a tendency to get too stretched out and then look very unflattering and cheap. So for example, I've had this pair of jeans for about a month now. I'm probably gonna donate them just because if I wear these jeans within five minutes, they're too stretched out in the butt. It looks like I'm wearing a diaper, covered the diaper butt many times on my channel. And most times it's because of the, the stretchy material. Likewise, through my leg, my whole thigh, they just just get stretched out and baggy and not flattering, very cheap looking. So I still have more clothing pieces to get to, but this next one, I'm just throwing it in the video because wow, is it bad? It, this is, it doesn't matter what you are wearing. If you wear this, 
it's gonna make you look cheap. And I apologize because I, I kind of did recommend it in a recent video and I didn't realize it looked that bad. And in real life, it's not nearly as bad, but it's this very shiny yellow necklace. So again, right now it's not coming, it doesn't look as, it looks more accurate right now, but I'll insert the clip of how it was coming across in a video, like a recent video. And it just kind of like, it sparked the idea in my head that it doesn't matter what you are wearing. It could be very expensive, tasteful clothes or very cheap clothes. It does not matter. Jewelry can be the icing on the cake, but if it's going to be shiny, fake looking yellow metal, you're gonna look cheap. Okay, so we're back to clothing pieces. Now this is something I unfortunately do not have an example anymore for because I did, as I mentioned, recently go through my closet and make a big donation. I got rid of a lot of clothes and sometimes I think I shouldn't do that because then I can't show you guys examples of things that you probably have in your closet too. And this is droopy buttons. So this is something I see all the time. Sometimes before you even buy a piece of clothing or a blouse or whatever, the buttons are already starting to droop. Other times it happens with time and you wearing the shirt and the buttons just go droopy. It just, it just cheapens the shirt. So I really recommend going through your closet, looking at blouses, look to see if the buttons are starting to hang downward. If they are it's starting to look cheap. Oh, and then bringing it back to this blouse, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this has a flap covering the buttons. So it just automatically looks more high end, looks more expensive. It looks more sleek and sophisticated. The buttons are completely covered and you never have to worry about any drooping. Designer knockoffs are unfortunately another way that you could be looking cheap. Now I want to be very specific about something. I am not saying you need to spend hundreds of dollars on designer handbags and scarves and Gucci sweaters to look good. You don't even have to care about designers to look good. Or you could have designer inspired items. I mean, I'm sure I have some designer inspired clothes. I know I have two or three designer inspired handbags that were like 20 bucks, that's totally fine. I'm talking about the intentional designer knockoffs or replicas that are terrible materials. They just look cheap. I feel like you know what I'm talking about. So those are my nine specific characteristics of cheap looking outfits or clothes. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll have everything linked down below, including Lily Silk and my discount code. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you very soon in in my next one. Bye.